Since the ancient times, in fact, the Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians documented the alien properties of honey, as early as Aristotle's mention of it in 384 BC. Honey is a food substance produced by bees and some related insects. The variety of honey produced by honey bees, popularly called the genus Apis, is best known due to its worldwide commercial production and human consumption. Honey is certainly an old product that has won over the hearts of many in the natural healing niche. On today's episode of Africa, I have with me Professor Moses Ulubayo Adeniji to tell us more about its benefits of honey. Professor Ulubayo Adeniji is a retired professor of botany and he will tell us more about all the several benefits we can get from honey. Hi, I'm Ulua Shewo. I welcome yes. you to the program, sir. Thank you very much. Professor, honey is something that is known generally and people use it for several things. Yes. But today we are going to talk particularly about the health benefits of honey. Can you tell us more about what honey can be used for <laughs> yes. in relation to health? Yes. When I talk about honey, I'm actually referring to bee honey. That's what we call original honey, bee honey, honey from bees. And in uh, herbal medicine, even in medicine itself, in the orthodox medicine, honey is of great importance in the treatment of various diseases. The orthodox medicine will use honey to dress sores that they want to heal very quickly. But we in herbal medicine, almost all diseases require honey. And as I continue with this talk, you will also realize that honey must be of great benefit to diseases. Because in all the diseases we are treating, honey is included as one of the elements that the patient must use. Why should it be so? Honey contains so many minerals, such as calcium, potassium, sodium, copper, iodine, manganese, magnesium, nickel, phosphorus, silver, and iron. So all Those are the minerals in honey. All the minerals mm -hmm. that we've talked about now, yes. they are all present in honey. Yes, they are all present in honey. I haven't talked about minerals. I will talk about the vitamins that honey contains. So honey contains vitamins A. The B complex, B1, B2, B3, and B12. Honey also contains vitamin C, D, E, F, and K. So you can imagine honey containing all those minerals, all those vitamins. Even the acid that honey contains are in traces. They include lactic acid, folic acid, nicotinic acid, and citric acid. All these four acids aid the body in digestion and blood circulation. And when your digestion goes well and your blood is circulating well, you are a healthy person. You can't be sick. Professor, in today's world, a lot of people battle with a lot of ailments. And you've talked about all the vitamins, all yes. the health benefits, yes. the proteins, all the minerals present in it. Yes. But taking it to the layman, the minerals that we've talked about, yes. how, how does it relate to sicknesses and disease? Yes. How does the application of honey come in to treat or to prevent some certain health challenges? Thank you very much for that question. <coughs> Let me take four very important diseases like cancer, mm. hypertension, arthritis, a worker, and asthma, let's say. All these four diseases require honey. Why? Why do they require honey? In the treatment of cancer, for example, okay. the research done has shown that cancer requires vitamins A, B, C, E. Hmm? And hypertension requires vitamins A, B, C, E, F, and calcium. Then arthritis requires vitamins B, C, D, E, F, and K apart from the minerals needed too. Calcium, sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. All these are contained in honey. 
and that's why someone who has any in fact all other diseases require vitamins too if i can show you here let me show you an important one heart disease for example heart under heart here heart needs vitamins a b c d e and you require minerals such as calcium iodine iron magnesium and potassium all these are containing honey and that's why honey is absolutely essential for treating heart diseases in fact a man who has hypertension or heart problem and is using honey regularly cannot have heart disease because honey is this is the far is the greatest for heart very good for the heart honey so how can we use this honey is it just by licking it randomly or how, how, how do we apply it? Well, what we recommend in the use of honey, even for treatment of disease, is that the honey, maybe a spoonful of honey, will be put in a little, about one-third teacup of warm water. When you mix the honey with warm water and you drink it, the thing seeps into the system and does its work. That's the way we will recommend, rather than licking it. So a man whom we give some herbs for treating, say, the heart, and uses honey, man will be well, because God made honey in that way. Even for us Christians, Apostle John the Baptist was feeding only on honey and locust. Mm -hmm. I hope you read this in your Bible. Mm -hmm. Only on honey and locust, and he was the strongest pastor of those days, without eating any other thing. But because honey, I've not even finished what honey also contains, the carbohydrates in honey. The carbohydrates in honey are those simple sugar, mostly natural simple sugar. They do not require any further digestion in the body. So when I give you this honey to take away, you, you use it yeah, this evening. You see that you are, if I use it in the morning, you see you are strong almost immediately. So like how many mm -hmm. times can we take honey in the, day? Well, if you are sick, we will say three times with your herb so that the disease can be wiped out. But if you are not sick, like me, now I'm not sick. You can see my skin. It's as smooth yeah, as I'm it's smooth, as smooth I'm as yours at uh, thirty. <laughs> you come into that. that. So, so someone using honey will give it. I will jump for you. You will see when I jump, I haven't taken little honey today. I, 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 you will not challenge me despite see, your tallness. I see you huh? before. Okay. Uh, and I can see the height <laughs> you can attain. Uh, but sir, you are almost you are above well above eighty four. Yes. Yes. And it is. Well, you are looking heady and younger, as not 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 as your age tastes. Yes. What has been the secret? Well, let us first thank God for His grace. You get me? Because God gave us His grace. Then He gave us the knowledge of what you should eat. Eh? I will hardly eat a bar of fufu. I ate it when I was young, like you. But now I don't take any such food. I won't take meat even. But, I want mm -hmm. but honey. The relative of, of honey. To yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if I am taking a spoonful of honey daily, eh, in taking tea, I put a spoonful of honey every day. So honey enters this body every day. So how could all these minerals, calcium up to iron, I mean there are 11 minerals here. Vitamins, there are about 10 here. Carbohydrates, fructose, glucose, maltose, amitase, protease, simple sugar entering this body, then the acid too. So my digestion is going well. My so blood is circulating well. Only his hmm? digestion. Of course, see there. It's its blood circulation. Yes, because it contains folic acid, like I've said earlier. Folic acid, citric acid, nicotinic, and lactic. So when you put that in your body, all these in your body, how wouldn't the body feel fine? So eh? And your skin too will be smooth. Instead of taking sugar, we can actually go into the usage of. Yes, honey. you should. But you have to take B honey. B. I mm -hmm. qualify it with B because this is very important. Most of the honey you buy outside are adulterated. They are adulterated with sugar. Because if you cook sugar or sugar cane, you boil it well, you will arrive at a, a, a I mean, fairly red. Like honey, if I ask, sweeter than honey. 
That's sugar cane, boiled. So, how, how, how do we differentiate when we get to the market about the bee honey <laughs> and the sugar cane honey? Is there anything to differentiate? Well, if you want to really buy honey from anybody, although the outside honey is mostly sugar cane honey, even though they may deceive you and put beehive in the honey, they want to pour for you. So, you will be thinking this bee honey is not bee honey. They boil sugar cane to arrive at their honey. And if you take that, the disease will even be more aggravated. The disease will be aggravated if you take uh, sugarcane honey. But bee honey containing all these minerals, all these uh, vitamins, acids, even the carbohydrates are mostly simple sugars that do not need any further digestion. So a sick person who takes honey is gaining into a system. Eh? something that will prevent the disease or even tackle the disease. To distinguish bee honey from adulterated honey, if you can get a matchstick eh, and you dip it, but make sure the match is quite good because some matches may not be good enough. So if you pick a matchstick and you put honey in a, an, a little container or even the cover, Dip this tip into the honey. Let it cover even part of the stick. Okay. But um, then strike it. If, it. if it is bee honey, it will strike and even burn up to the, where the stick is uh, covered with the honey. Okay. When it does that, if, if you strike it and it, it can strike at all, eh? that's bee honey. But so if it is yeah. adulterated honey, yes, of course, it will strike. I wish I had opened this. <laughs> let, 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 let's try. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Okay, tear it. Tear it open. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> so let us first test this match. Okay. I hope you see that it's, it's struck, even though there is air. I will now take another. I will dip in the honey like that. You let it have striking surface. Okay. If I now strike this, you see, you see that it struck. Mm -hmm. eh? If it glows like it did, that's bee honey. honey. This is bee honey. Because I was there we, where they make this. People who are practicing apiculture mm? mm. do this. So if it strikes and continues even to burn, then that is bee honey. But if it were Ireke honey, or honey that is adulterated with uh, water to, to increase the volume. You know the water, this, this tip will be dampened. Yeah. Eh? You can't strike. If I, if I take a mastic now and I rub it on my sweating nose, eh, it can hardly strike. Because it's a uh, water I touched it. But if you dip, see I dip this into bee honey, I stroke it and it glowed. <coughs> Also so that's one test. Another test okay. is if you get water into a tumbler up to halfway and you now drop this honey, drop by drop, maybe about six drops into the water, it will keep, it will be going down, the honey will be going down in a conical shape and land at the bottom of the water without mixing with the water. Because honey is denser than water. So it will just be depositing at the bottom of the water without dissolving it. But if it were sugar cane honey and you drop as you drop, and if you are not colorblind, you will see the thing dissolving, tainting the, with the water, the clear water, coloring it brown or so. Hmm? It will not descend like bee honey. honey. Yes. You talked about uh, being fertile to the last days, the other time. I want you to shed light on it. How, how does the usage, daily usage of yes. bee honey affect how fertile we are? Yes. In my book here, I wrote that honey eh, enhances virility of man into the 80s, if taken regularly. But a lady wrote this book that I want to show you what she wrote there. A lady, you could see the name, Elizabeth Kafaru, okay. uh, authored this book. What she wrote here is that at page 
145, mm. as you can see, that a man who drinks honey in warm water, warm water, regularly, that regularly is important, will remain strong and virile, virile, virility, mm, mm. till his last days. So, you now questioning me, mm? <laughs> now, if you are about 30, mm. uh, and God says, oh, Shane, you should live up to 120. Mm. So, from today, that, is, that means you have about uh, 90 days on earth. 90 years. Yes, 90 years, sorry, 90 years. So, in 89 years time, plus 364 days, remaining one day for you, eh? to ascend to heaven, <laughs> eh? you will perform that day, that last day. That's what this woman wrote in the book. That is, when you are uh, 119 years plus 364 days, on that 364 day, which is your last day, eh? you, are, you will perform with your wife. Wow. But the next day, you are with Jesus. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Even Jesus will make a speech there that angels, we should be very happy to welcome Shehu into our midst today. He performed creditably well on earth. Eh? He even cruised last night before arriving here today. Eh? That's how Jesus will make a speech there. Eh? Although your wife won't be very happy. Because, <laughs> because she will just write in the paper that with very heavy heart and very deep regret, eh? <laughs> we, we, we announce the passing into glory of our father grandfather, great-grandfather, mm. who departed this sinful earth at the age of 120. He will now tell, she will now tell the paper to write at the bottom that the wicked have done their worst. Meaning that uh, Ajay, the witch has, has killed you. Yeah. <laughs> People will be wondering how Ajay will kill a 120-year-old because your bone actually you should, 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 should ruin the teeth of the, of the witch. Yeah. <laughs> So, actually, when you are using honey regularly, mm. then you will perform till your last day. Mm. But I wrote 89 years, 80, 80s in my book. Mm. Honey has antibiotic properties, mm. which will inhibit bacteria, mm. viruses, and fungi. Mm. Meaning that no microorganism can grow in honey. Mm. Bee honey, I mean. Bee honey. Yeah, if it's irrigate honey, it will start having some fungus growth ab above, above it. Okay. But bee honey will remain like that for the next 10 to 20 years without spoiling. That's bee honey for you. Honey also strengthens the immunity, the immune system. How well can honey mm. last? How well? Well, it can last even for if you keep it forever, it will remain like that now. That's how God made bee honey. You get me? Honey also strengthens the immunity, immune system. So if you have children, younger children, you let them use honey. I know you may say we can't afford it. Let them use honey for their tea, for drinking their kamu, eko ugi. Eh? You will not take the children to the hospital. That is the truth. Let your child be taking honey, every, say one spoon every day with it's the ugi or kamu. Yeah, well, or, water well, warm water. Inside. Well, if it's warm water, but rather than leaking, eh? mm. take it in a liquid with food. Then honey heals sores. If you have a sore and you are dressing it, and uh, use honey on it. It will prevent all the germs that will cause the source to be more aggravated. So if anyone is having a wound and yes. applies honey on honey. the surface. Yes. It will be healing very fast. In fact, honey is used for dressing, for dressing sores, whether fresh and old. You get me? Then those who are heavy, who are weighty and want to reduce. Eh? I'm happy you look like me. <laughs> you don't need to, to reduce weight. But those who want to reduce weight, it is recommended that they take two teaspoonful of honey or one tablespoonful of honey, five to ten minutes before each meal. They will be. They can weigh themselves before starting this, and then weigh themselves after about uh, one month. They will so see that they've lost about any, anyone that has gained weight. Or weight is yes, overweight. Before it's eating, eating, they should take. Honey. honey, take about a tea, two teaspoonful of honey, honey. put in warm water, water drink. drink, then eat your food. Ten minutes after yes, you can, you can eat food. if you like. 
But so within the space of how many months will they start seeing changes? Well, within a month, in fact, let okay, weigh yourself today after two weeks of taking honey regularly in that way. Reweigh yourself. You see that you've lost about two or three kilo. But I will warn those who are heavy, who are fat, to desist from eating a lot of eba. I mean, I know you will say, oh, that's a staple food. They are too dense in starch. Cassava and yam especially. Cassava and yam. And most of us take yam and egg in the morning. We take a malagidi with a, with a, a wedu soup in the afternoon. Then you take pounded yam with a goosey soup in the evening. You thank God for providing you good food. Eh? But if you are heavy, if you are weighty, and you continue eating like that, you will continue gaining weight and becoming fat. And uh, too much fat in the body is sickness itself, obesity. Mm? Pregnant women, in fact, uh, we recommend that they use honey regularly. Tell your wife to use honey, honey like when she is pregnant. The baby will come out with beautiful, clear skin and, and lovely hair. Clear skin. Eh? Because if I, at 84 plus, can be so smooth, how do you expect a baby that is gaining honey from the mother? No, you eh? have a very smooth skin. Well, you rub your hand on it. You rub your hand on it. You see, wow. smooth and wow. soft. Wow. Because honey enters this body. Hmm. Hmm? And I jump for you. You know you are taller than me. If I <laughs> jump, you know my head is far above <laughs> you. I, and you challenge me to football. I will be heading ball into your goal. So <laughs> okay, so I, I see honey makes your bowel move freely. Very good for the heart. In fact, it relaxes the nerves and thus brings about a good sleep. When you take honey, you take this away, go and take it. You see how your sleep will go this evening or tomorrow evening. How well does honey work with voice, voice training? Well, good, good, good. Because honey cleanses the system. Eh? Your bowel is moving freely, your digestion is going well, your blood is circulating well. So, a member of a choir, you get me, choristers. Who use honey? honey? They will be singing all to beautifully. <laughs> the voice will be fine. Hmm? Even honey is necessary. Even those who have thyroid gland and all those things, they need honey. All diseases. See my book here. You see that honey, honey, honey appears everywhere. In all diseases, honey. Even somebody who is bedwetting also needs honey. See honey there. Wow. Yeah? Someone who is bald, also honey, is always there. Eh? So, well, I know you will say I'm bald, but I'm 84 plus. <laughs> okay, so that's about all I, I've read to you all here. Hmm? So, for weight reducing pregnant women, even uh, they use honey to heal sores. Is there any disadvantage to the usage of honey if it is too much in the body system? Does it bring any negative reaction or side effects? Well, because honey doesn't contain any toxin. You get me? No toxin in honey. God is great. The bees make honey actually for their queen to be strong. But we, we God, I mean, because we have dominion over all animals, over all things. So we use it to, for diseases. So if I'm using honey alone regularly, disease will find difficulty in getting at me. If you take water too much, eh, you have problem now. Over, you don't need to take too much. It's so sweet. You need just a little at a time. I can't imagine someone drinking a whole bottle of honey. What for? Eh, you need just a spoonful to give you all you want for the day. Because see all that I need. So you don't need uh, uh, my, my too much of it in your body. You take it gradually. Hmm? It's been a pleasant time with you, Professor Moses Adeniji, where even though you are retired, but you are not tired, not yet, yeah. and your words of knowledge has really blessed us on, the, uh, on this episode of Africa. We want to appreciate you so much on this topic that we've talked about today, honey. And I hope our viewers at home will also start using honey from today for their various health challenges that they might be facing. We want to appreciate you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Although I, I admire your skin and <laughs> may the Lord continue to <laughs> make you grow stronger. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. You are welcome. <laughs>